Welcome back to my second tutorial related to variables. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can disable and, re uh, and enable the Q stacks relates to your uh, playbacks. This is what I'm talking about. So by at this moment, so every time I launch the playback, okay, let's say we see we have the CO2s or flames uh, shooting from the console. So that means at this moment the playback is working absolutely fine you have the you have everything is working however when it reaches zero what we actually want to do is we want this console to stop outputting that playback because it reached zero therefore it should stop so but here's the problem as soon as you reach zero nothing stops so you put the fader down you start it again and it's it's there's no like a countdown but the output is still there and this is the problem because what you ideally would probably want to do is when the playback reaches zero you want no output from this playback so how can you do that for this i need to start adding the macro automation so first of all in order to complete that step your magic your system needs to be out of demo mode like in my case i'm using rack mount dongle and there is no uh it, it it is in fully unlocked mode so if you have a demo mode or if you have a core mode um i think core mode as well you're not going to be able to do this so i'll i'll, I'll double check this but uh, in a demo mode definitely it's not going to work so first of all what i'm going to do is following I'm going to go inside of the queue stack and I'm going to make sure my total activate time is zero. Okay. So, and uh, my variable is here. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, how to create that playback, how to create this instance, watch my first tutorial where I explain everything step by step. So this is what you need to do next. The next thing you need to go to the macro window. You'll land in macro window like this. And there is an option called view automation. By default, this window is probably going to be empty. What you'll need to do is you'll need to select, there's going to be probably one line that says one and the and line like this. So you can click insert automation and it's going to create another automation. The reason is, um, I will explain to you in the, in the last tutorial, how you can use the, the extra special functions here as well. But for time being, I'm going to show you how you can and disable and enable the playback using automation so this is what we're going to do so first of all we're going to have the um, uh, uh, automation with the status enabled okay so if it's disabled make sure it's enabled then you go to the type you double click and here you're going to choose the option called variable you click here next one is going to say hey which q stack you would like to affect and again we if we double click on our playback you're going to see it says q stack 7 this is the q stack i want to affect so i'll need to double click and i need to choose it says q stack id number seven after that you go into the p2 it's the it's the parameter 2 you double click and you choose an option which is called active timer and variable two. So when you click on this, it will look at whether the active timer is greater than variable two. So here you need to, in a parameter three, you need to double click and make sure you have an option says greater. So that means active timer greater than variable two. So, and then we need to apply what function? What would you like? To happen you double click and and you have to choose an option called stack disable so we would like to disable the stack when active timer exceeds the variable two so and then in the uh, in the function one of the here you choose the q stack id again you choose the q stack number seven so that means when the timer will get to the zero level it's gonna deactivate. So that means we'll have to go up and let's check it. So again, I'm activating my uh, playback. I can use to the fader, I can use it with uh, buttons. 
let's say I'm running till full, and as soon as it hits zero, and you put the fader down, you try to uh, enable it, and it's fully disabled. So here it's going to say playback one disabled. If you look into the macro window, you will see it says state disabled. So that means this playback has been disabled, and this is the correct way the console behaves. So then you want to fix this. You want to actually uh, use this playback again. So before you do that, you will have to go into the QStack settings. So you triple click. Then you go to the activate release and you need to make sure the total activate time will be equal to zero. So you type zero enter. But the problem is the QStack is still disabled. How can we re-enable? So to re-enable the QStack, you have to go to the stack store find this playback, uh, the QStack 7, and you need to press Enable QStack. So now, the playback will work again. Okay? However, I don't want to every time go to the macro automation, to the QStack, reset it there, and so on and so forth. I want to make it actually a little bit easier. I want, as soon as my number, the total activated time, goes back to zero, then uh, it gets uh, reactivated. So how can I do this? I go to the macro window. I choose the second, the next line. And in the type, I choose again variable. And in the variable, again, I'm going to be saying it's a QStack7 variable. You go to the not active timer, but you're going to say, um, yes, you have to choose active timer. So this option it counts how long the, uh, the timer was working and in the in the uh, uh, what's the name in the uh, parameter 3 you double click and you say when it's zero okay so that means when parameter uh, active time is zero so i'm talking about that parameter time total activate time when it's zero so i'm going to say zero okay then if you go to the macro, you have to give it action. So the action will be, or function, will be stack enabled. And it's going to be Q stack number seven. So let's check how it will work. So if I'm going to activate my playback. Okay. But as soon as it reaches zero, see? The Q stack has been disabled. Therefore, if you try to launch it, you try to press fresh, nothing is going to happen until you go back to the Q stack, go to the activate, and then you make the total active time to be zero. And when it's zero, the macro automation will say, hey, it's zero, I will re enable it. And this is how you can enable and disable the playback so stay tuned for the next tutorial in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create a reset button that instead of you every time going back to the going back to to this window going to reactivate timer etc etc i'm going to show you how to create a, a button here that will do it for you uh, without any problems and uh, it will be very easy to use on the screen without worrying about resetting it in, all, in a normal way. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next tutorial as I said and thank you for joining me today.